subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Hello students. Today I am going to ask one question. Have you ever visited a cave? After entering into a cave, what happened to your respiration? Many of you feel suffocated. Why this occurs? Today we are going to learn about that one. So let's jump into our lesson. So today we are going to learn about the regulation of respiratory movements. So human beings have the capability of to moderate and maintain the respiratory rhythm according to the demands of the tissues. This is done by the neural system. Regulation is a respiratory rhythm center. So this is the primary center in the brain which controls the respiratory movements. So that is it changes the respiratory rate either fast or it slows the respiratory rate. So do you know how many times do we respire per minute? Yes, I think all of you remember that 12 to 16 times we, we respire per minute. So that is a normal condition. To maintain that normal condition, respiratory rhythm center is very important. It is situated in the middle oblongata of the brain. So middle oblongata region contains a center which is known as respiratory rhythm and this controls the rhythm of the respiration. And the second center is the pneumotaxic center which occurs in the pons of the brain and it reduces the duration of inspiration it reduces the duration of inspiration and controls the respiratory rate so third one is chemosensitive area which is present adjacent to the respiratory rhythm center chemosensitive area is present adjacent to the rhythmic respiratory rhythm center this chemosensitive area is very sensitive to Concentration of carbon dioxide and H plus ions. Concentration of carbon dioxide and H plus ions. If there is any increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide and H plus, this will be notified to the respiratory rhythm center to take the necessary adjustments to remove these two substances from the blood, excessive substances in the blood. And the fourth one is the receptors for CO2 and H plus ions present at uh, carotid arteries and aortic arch. So these are arches present uh, in the heart region, carotid arteries and aortic arch. So these two um, blood vessels uh, contain receptors uh, which can sensitize the, the any increase in carbon dioxide and H plus ions concentration and these receptors automatically send signals to the respiratory rhythm center to take the necessary adjustment. How these adjustments uh, take place? So the pH value of blood we all know that is 7.4 so this condition should be maintained so whenever the raise in carbon dioxide and H plus ions takes place then it causes decrease in the pH value so seven so the pH value decreases from 7.4 this is not going to be the case so we have to maintain 7.4 for that reason the increased concentration of CO2 and H plus ions uh, we act as a stimulus for the receptors which are present in the carotid and the aortic arches of the heart and they send the signals to the brain medulla oblongata they send the signals or they carry the, these chemicals to the brain head so likewise so this raise in carbon dioxide and H plus also also comes to the medulla oblongata through the cerebrospinal fluid. So then the medulla oblongata, so the middle in medulla oblongata, the respiratory rhythm center, the respiratory rhythm center is activated and it sends signals to the ribs and diaphragm muscles, which are present in the rib cage. So medulla, from medulla, that is respiratory rhythm center, signals are going to ribs and the diaphragm, diaphragm muscles of the respiratory system and these muscles are contracted so these muscles are contracted that's why the inspiration takes place 
so the depth and the long, uh, duration of the inspiration is uh, increased so that more oxygen comes into the lungs so again the CO2 will be expelled out as CO2 is expelled out uh, automatically the blood pH value comes to 7.4 so like this uh, uh, any changes in the carbon dioxide and H plus ion concentrations will be eliminated immediately by these four regulatory mechanisms. Uh, that's, for, that's it for today. So keep learning. I think why we get suffocation when enter into caves because the oxygen supply is low. That's why the carbon carbon dioxide concentrated will be more in the blood. That's why we, we are not supplied with oxygen, so we get suffocated. So the CO2 has to be immediately removed. So that signal will be sent to the medulla oblongata. Uh, that is respiratory rhythm center. From that, it gives uh, uh, information to the ribs and diaphragm. So you have to take more oxygen. So that's why we, we come to the fresh area and we inspire lots of oxygen. So that's the answer.